Oh, I'll tell you what you do. You snap out of it. You know why you're afraid to get married? You think there's some room full of hoochie mamas out there that just waiting for you in case you don't want to do the right thing. Let me tell you something. The only thing you're missing out on is a lot of cold and lonely nights. And I tell you what, there's not one person out there that will disagree with me on that. I do. <laughs> I did. I did Frasier. I did Frasier, and Frasier was one of the most amazing experiences. First of all, Kelsey. Gra First of all, Kelsey Grammer could not have been lovelier. He's warm and fuzzy. He invites you to his set and makes you just. He just sort of hugs you. Good morning. How are you? And you feel, wow. This is. Uh, he, make, he makes me feel important and special. Here's the bad news about that show, is that if you didn't. If you weren't a quick study, you're in trouble because they move real quick. He does it, and in fact, they may have a director on that set, but be very aware that Kelsey Grammer is running the show. In, and I don't mean that in a mean way. He's just very, and he has this little phrase, let's kick the pig. And I was like, what does that mean? What's that? And he said it's what um, Ted Danson used to say on Cheers. Uh, that means if we get the scene done, let's kick the pig. Let's get out of here. So you would rehearse a scene twice and move on. And luckily, I knew that, okay, I better go home and rehearse my... And he said to me, if you need it again, let me know. And a couple of times I did, and he was completely gracious. But his whole thing is like, let's get this done. Let's be efficient. And the show runs really well. People are in love with those characters. And it, uh, it was one of my favorite experiences. Just lovely. And I tried to get them to spin off the character, and that didn't happen. But that's another story. Who was your character? Dr. Mary. Okay, okay. Dr. Mary was a, uh, the story is, is that Roz was taking a break and Fraser Crane decided to reach out to the community and let someone have an opportunity. I think I worked in a donut shop, but I was like a communications major or something, I don't remember. And I went in and filled in for Roz and totally took over the show. But not in a bad way, I just had homespun, you know, homespun folksy advice. And I started calling myself Dr. Mary and so did the rest of the world. <laughs> And at the end of the episode, I got my own show. And then I come back for a Christmas episode where I sort of take over the Christmas parade. And he, not in a, again, not in a mean way. She's just, people just embrace her and love. She's just, ooh, okay, okay. People loved her. And we so called them and tried to get them to spin the character off. They're like, okay, uh, yeah, we'll call you back. Okay, yeah, don't call us, we'll call you back. Right.